In this video, I want to talk about some of Greenfoot's graphics capabilities and how to create a, a graphics-based scenario. Uh, you can always create text-based programs and, and output using system.out.println, uh, but I'll show you how simple it is to create a scenario using uh, graphics. So for this example, I'm going to create a new scenario, new scenario, and I'm going to call this the wombat scenario. And a wombat is an Australian marsupial. We're going to have our wombat uh, wander around a field. And we'll do this uh, in this scenario right here. So maybe make it a little bigger. Okay. So you might notice that you get two classes for free every time. You get a world class and an actor class. So we're going to make our field based on this world class that we get here. And we're going to make our wombat a type of an actor. So uh, let's create the field first. I'm going to right click on world. And I'm going to say new subclass. I'm going to create a type of world. In this uh, particular example, it's going to be a field. It might be a, a game board if we're a game type thing. Field. And I'm going to click on background. Okay, this is the name of the class. Background, I'll go down and I'll choose the sand image. Uh, click OK. And there's my field. Then I'm going to create a wombat that's going to run around my field here. So I'm going to right click on actor. And it's going to say new subclass. I'll click on that. I'll type in wombat. And under the image categories, if I go all the way down here, here's a picture of my wombat. And as you can see here, you can always import uh, your own PNG from a file on your hard drive. Uh, so I'll click OK. And there's my wombat. Now the diagonal lines through here mean that they need to be compiled. So I'm going to click the Compile button down here at the bottom, or uh, Command K, a little short keyboard shortcut for that. And make it a little bigger. All right. And then. Um, there's my field, and to put a wombat on the field, I can right click the wombat and say new wombat right here, and drag it, or click and place it at some position. All right, then I'm gonna run the simulation, or run the scenario, so I click run, and as of right now, nothing happens. The wombat just sits there. So let me pause that. Let's take a look at what's uh, inside the wombat class. Let's look at the code for that. So here's the wombat class, I can just double click the icon for a wombat. And let's see what's in here. Well, there's an import statement for Greenfoot that lets me use the graphics capabilities that, that put the image on the screen you just saw. Uh, public class wombat is a type of an actor. Extends actor, which is technically inheritance, which we'll get to a little bit more uh, in detail later. And then I have an act method. Now my act method, you can see it's pretty blank. There's nothing here but a comment. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna say move five pixels. And this is a, a method that you we get from Actor. Actor has lots of functionality built in that we can just use off the uh, off the bat. So let me close that up and see what happens. Uh, it has diagonal lines. All right, so I need to compile. This time I'm going to hit Command K. That's going to compile for me. It's a little keyboard shortcut. Right click Wombat and put the Wombat. Let's say right here. And then I'll act, which it looks like it's moving the Wombat five pixels. And if I run it, it actually goes through act over and over and over again. Now, when our wombat hits a wall here, it doesn't know what to do, but we can we can uh, edit our code and our algorithm to have the wombat maybe turn around or turn to, turn 90 degrees. Um, let me pause. Let me go back that one more time. And there's another method here. There's actually quite a few. Called turn. I'm going to turn five. Close it. Again, Command K. I'm going to right click on the actor, put the wombat somewhere, or the wombat, and I'll run it. And you can see now the wombat actually is moving and turning as we go, which is kind of cool. So that's how you can create a really, really simple uh, graphics program. Uh, there's a couple things here. Looks like the, the field is kind of small. We, we might want to be able to make it a little bigger. And then you've seen how every time I've edited wombat, which when, you, when you're writing a program, you will make lots of edits, I have to right click the wombat and then put it into a place, and I just estimated the location. I didn't know the exact spot. So I'd like to actually automate that. Put the wombat in automatically, and then also specify an exact location. So let, I can do that with the field. The field takes care of those details. So if I double click the field, and take a look at the code for that, this is what a field class looks like. Um, it has the import statement for Greenfoot, which, which allows me to do the, uh, use the graphics capabilities of the, of the um, uh, field or the world in this case public class field extends world and I have what's called a constructor here 
And there's a line that actually, super, actually calls the constructor world. It sets things up, basically. Again, we'll get into more of these details of inheritance later. Right now, it's 600 by 400. I want to make it 800 by, let's say, 500. Let's try that. And then, um, I want to be able to add the Wombat into the field automatically. I don't want to have to right-click on Wombat and drag it in every single time. Uh, you definitely don't want to do this if you're setting up like a chess game and want to put the pieces in a uh, uh, on the game board. And not only do you want to put them in the game board automatically, you want to put them in exact, exact spots. So I'm going to say add object, new Wombat. So this is an effect right clicking on Wombat. And I can tell it where I want to put it. I'll say, you know what, let's put one at 50 comma 50. And I'll add object, a new Wombat at 200 comma 500. Let's see what happens. So I've changed the size of the board and I've added two wombats. I'm going to close this up. Again, I got to compile command K. And you can actually see here that my wombats, uh, my board is bigger and my wombats were put in there automatically for me. Now if I click run, it starts to run the uh, simulation here or the scenario. Um, again, if I go back in a wombat, let's just say I want to turn minus five, I can do minus five, let's see what that does. So do minus five, and then recompile, command K. Again, the board is there, my two wombats, wombats in their place, I click run, and there I go. All right, so we go. So um, those are the steps you, could use, you can use to create a very simple uh, graphics-based program in Greenfoot. Uh, the the algorithms in this program are very simple. We're just moving and turning, but you can have edge detection. You can determine when one object uh, comes close to another and do something based on that. So once you understand how the objects interact, you actually can create some relatively complex uh, programs and simulations. So that's your uh, tutorial on creating Greenfoot uh, graphics-based programs.